Hey guys, so for this video, we're going to look at all the top pro players signature moves. By this, I mean techniques such as the Mongrel Classic, the Clicks Window Peak, and the Bizzle Tunnel. I got this idea from another great Fortnite YouTuber named Kamali, who made his own version of this a few months ago. What I wanted to do was update it with newer moves that a lot of you have not seen before, as well as combine it with all the all-time greats you may have forgotten about. As per usual, I'll show what the trick is, how to do it, why it works, and then an in-game example from the pro that created it. So with all of that being said, let's get right on into the video. The first and arguably the most meta move we'll look at is the Mongrel Classic. To perform it, you want to yoink your opponent's wall, edit it open, place a ramp, and then edit the ramp back for a shot. This will prevent your opponent from getting off any damage on you and give them no time to react to having their wall taken. Oh, and before I forget, you can do the whole move even faster by editing the wall you place with your blueprint out and not your shotgun. This this technique is pretty simple, right? Well, did you know, Mongrel recently made a second version of it. What you do is pull off the normal Mongrel classic I just showed, but instead of going for a shot, you edit the wall closed and re-edit it into a top corner peak. You want to use this updated version when you know your opponent expects the normal one and is waiting to take a shot after you make the ramp edit. From their perspective, the shot they take will get blocked by the wall you reset and they'll be forced to take a fat pump shot in the face. The next pro signature move we'll look at is Benji's favorite new box fighting trick that I'm dubbing the Benji Classic. He starts by rotating his ramp once and then pressures his opponent's wall while on the left side of a cone. Then when his opponent gets baited into a top corner edit, he places the rotated ramp inside, waits for the guy to reset the wall, and finally replaces it as his own because it won't have much health after getting re-edited. Nobody, no matter how good they are, will expect the rotated ramp to block them, especially after they make a peanut butter edit since it usually works out. On top of that, no Nobody will expect you to take their wall right after they reset it closed, which is what makes the move so much more effective. The only hard part is getting used to rotating your ramp before and after the box fight. With enough practice though, you should be able to master it pretty quickly. Third pro signature move is one you've probably seen before, but you most likely do not know the name of. I'm talking about the X8 Classic, where you stand against the back of a wall and then build a ramp so you can phase through it. One way to use this is in defensive box fights by editing your wall to get off a cheap shot. Your opponent won't expect the edit at all and will have no idea where you are while you phase through the ramp. An even smarter way to use this trick is to box up next to your opponents one by one and replace their wall after shooting it with your gun. This is actually how X8 originally utilized his own move way back in May of 2019 and is my personal favorite application of it as well. Fourth up is not a box fighting technique like every other one we've looked at, it's actually a high ground retake. Known as the Booga side jump, there are two different actions people People think of. There's this one that consists of you scissor ramping up, placing a floor beneath you and to your side, and finally building a ramp on the far floor, which you'll jump onto to go up for height. Booga himself will add in the Thwaifo cone at the end to keep his backside protected, but that's completely optional. Then the other side jump people give to Booga is the classic elevated cone jump I've showed 9 million times already. Just aim for the far side of the cone, look straight down, and turbo build a floor and ramp on the far side of the cone. You should end up on the middle of the ramp, not under it, and will have the opportunity to take back high ground in the build fight. Pro signature move number 5 is the CRR Classic. How you do it is place a floor next to your opponents one by one while you're below it, edit the floor diagonally like this, I use edit on release so I have to do it a bit differently, then wedge yourself into the front and break the wall. If you keep inching forwards, you should be able to phase through the next wall your opponent builds and get an easy elimination. From the opposite POV, your opponent will be way too busy holding their wall to really realize you're already phasing through it. Oh, and before I forget, you can also do the CRR Classic with a 1x1 on the same level as you in the same exact fashion. It all comes down to the situation you find yourself in and how you choose to play out the fight. The 6 Pro Signature move is another OG technique known as the Metro Classic. This one is really really simple because you get your opponent's wall low, build a ramp over your head, run, and jump straight through the wall as you break it with your pickaxe. If you time it correctly, there's literally no way for your opponent to stop you. I guess they could try to build, but if you build a ramp of your own and edit it as you jump, there's truly no counter. Another way I like to pull off the Metro Classic is to place a cone in front of the wall I get low, edit the closest three sides of it up like this, and then use the edited cone just like you would a ramp. This method is a little harder to see in my opinion, but both are insanely useful. About halfway through, and the next pro signature move on my list is the Zexro Classic. What the Zexro Classic refers to 
to is going on Twitter and starting beef for absolutely no reason. Simply tweet out dumb stuff, bait your followers for impressions, and put really weird stuff on other people's timelines for no reason. After a while, everyone will realize you're a clown, thus successfully pulling off the Zack Stroh classic. On a more serious note, the real pro signature move I wanted to cover next is the Clicks window peek. Unlike a normal window edit, which everyone and their mother will expect, the Clicks window peek consists of you ducking to the left of the window edit you make, utilizing the right hand peek you have just given yourself to take a shot, and finally resetting the wall. At full speed, you want to give your opponent no time to get a shot on you or even see your head. That's why I basically flick my crosshair to the right immediately after I take the shot, so there's little to no chance I take damage. Lastly, make sure you pay attention to your movement and positioning like Clicks does, because it really is important for this trick. Up next is a more recent pro signature move named after the EU beast, Kylix. As you just saw, you use this trick when someone comes down on a ramp to replace your wall. What you do is make a top corner edit, place a floor, edit the floor like this, and finally build the ramp to set up for your pump shot. Now, the reason this is so insanely practical and effective is that your opponent will try to pre-fire your edit, instead will get blocked, and then have no way to protect themselves with the edited floor and ramp in their way. Definitely my favorite part of about it though is how awesome it looks when you use it to absolutely dump on someone. So if you want a trick that has been used to outplay the likes of Benji Fishy, learn this ASAP. For the following pro signature move, we're going to switch it up one more time from box fighting techniques and look at the Bizzle Tunnel. Otherwise known as the Bizzle Snake, the Bizzle Tunnel is a rotation trick for tunneling into zone. The way it works is you start with a typical box, except you leave one side open. From there, face towards the open side and make another box, but now leave the opposite side of the box open. After that, again place the top and bottom, front and side wall, leave the original side open, and repeat the process until you decide to stop. I personally love this trick because you actually use it a ton in scrims, and it's also a great way to warm up. By the way, it's called the Bizzle Snake since the tunnel looks like a big snake from above. The 11th pro signature move is one of the most underrated edits in the game, the Kanata Classic. To do it, just edit the right two rows as well as the top left tile of a wall. That will leave you with this tiny little door looking structure that you can use to either go for a jump shot or a right hand peek. Where it's most useful however, is after you drop down on a ramp and yoink your opponent's wall during a box fight. Your opponent will barely be able to see you, and because of the edit, you'll have many different options to kill them. Just remember to reset your wall after you get the shot off, so you don't take any return damage after it goes through. Onto the 12th pro signature move, and we have one of the newest ones, named the Andretta Classic. This move is extremely unique because you place a ramp in your opponent's box, edit a door into the wall, jump up on top of the door, and flip the ramp back in order to face through it for a shot. From your opponent's POV, they'll have no idea what you're doing until it's way too late to react. The best aspect of this trick, in my opinion, has to be the angle you get at the end when you take your shot. I don't know why, but I just feel like my pump always hits way harder than usual, as Martos shows right here. Second to last pro signature move is probably the oldest and most popular one in the video from the GOAT Tifu. All you gotta do to pull off the Tifu classic is jump up for a shot when you're above someone, hit them, and then land back down on a floor you build to protect yourself. Nowadays, however, this is a little outdated, and what most good players do is not jump. By not jumping, your opponent will have no angle on you at all, and the floor you place down will block any return fire. The final pro signature move is not from a pro, but from my bot cousin who helped me make the video, Kazaki. What you do to pull off the Kazaki classic is take your opponent's wall, place a ramp in their box, and then edit the ramp starting from the far side you're closest to, up and around to the other side, all while you run on top of the existing ramp. This will position you right next to your opponent, where you can get a shot off on them and kill them for free. From the other side of the play, your opponent will expect you to end up in one place, while you randomly come out in another. Just make sure you practice the ramp edit in order to pull off the whole thing very quickly, and be aware you can do it on the left or right side of the ramp. Overall guys, those are the most popular signature pro moves in Fortnite Battle Royale. Let me know which of them was your favorite, as well as any that I missed. Additionally, if you enjoyed the video, then do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and to turn on post notifications. Shout out to everyone using code Jerrion. We just passed 600k subscribers on the channel, as well as over 100 million views, and I seriously cannot thank you all enough. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.